Hey everybody, welcome to week 16 of Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Lions Alternate History. Today's matchup features the Atlanta Falcons versus the Detroit Lions at the Pontiac Silverdome. This is the final game of the season. We are 4-11. We are way out of the playoff race. And I can say with certainty that we will be giving away the uh, Billy Sims autograph jersey. Uh, as you can see right here, autograph Billy Sims, Rookie of the Year, 1980. We will be giving away this jersey today. There will be a definitive winner uh, for the contest. And uh, we're going to show you the contest uh, um, uh, information at the end of the video. So, uh, actually it popped up there really quickly, but I don't want to reveal too much. Um, week 16, we are facing the Atlanta Falcons. It is a pick em game with the over-under at 36. So our three contestants uh, made their decisions, made their choices, and uh, I think that it's safe to say that we're probably not going to win this ball game. We have our backup quarterback in there, um, Eric Hippel, because Gary Danielson is injured, and we are missing some significant players from uh, our defense. So, uh, although the game is saying it's a pick 'em, we're going to try to win this game. I mean, I, I, when I created this series, <laughs> I thought that I was doing it. Um, facetiously in the sense that our, the Lions have always been bad in almost my entire life. We've won one playoff game. I'm sure everyone knows that was in 1991, a game that I was actually at. Uh, and so, um, you know, I thought in creating this series that I would be able to actually have a better season than the actual Lions have had in real life. And that's just not true. Uh, we will have multiple seasons after this year. Um, so there will be a 1981 Detroit Lions season replay. Uh, alternate history, I guess we, we, we are calling it. Um, but that won't take place until next football season. So what I want to show uh, <coughs> I want to show you here is if you look at the draft, um, it has us as the first pick uh, in the draft as of right now. We shared the same record as the 49ers and the Redskins. The weird thing is, after the Week 15 game, I believe it had us in the second spot. So I don't know what has happened, what has changed uh, within the game uh, to automatically give us the first pick. But assuming that we lose today, uh, we should have the first pick overall uh, in the draft. Now... This is the first season I've ever played using Football Mogul. So when this game is over, I don't know what happens next. I'm assuming there's an off season where we'll have to do um, either re-signing our, our players who are uh, going to free agency, and then the free agency period will start. I don't know when the draft will take place uh, in that scenario, but there will be a second, a separate video. Um, for uh, the off-season uh, general manager duties, okay? Now, what about the playoffs? Taking a look here at the playoffs, as of right now, if the season ended today, these are the teams that are in. I would like to be able to play these games um, with the computer playing the computer and record them just to see what happens. So that might be, those will be separate videos, uh, if that happens, uh, I haven't decided because I don't know what it's going to be like. So um, there's a lot more to look forward to, uh, at, even after we give away the uh, football jersey. And I just don't know how it's going to play out just yet. So having said all of that, Merry Christmas, everybody. It is uh, December 25th, and uh, I've pulled myself away uh, long enough to put this game together today. Let's go ahead and get the game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're a subscriber, then you're able to get in on um, all of my contests. Like this uh, 1980 uh, Billy Sims autographed jersey. 
Now, the Falcons are not out of this. They could make the playoffs with an 8-8 eight and eight record. So they need the win today. Maybe we can play spoilers. Okay, um, we are going to kick off to them. And then we'll take a look at the Atlanta offense. And then when it, the ball is turned over to us, we'll, um, we'll take a look at our team. Okay, so here we go. Normal kickoff. And Murray kicks it off for a touchback. And we will take a look here at the Atlanta Falcons team. Steve Barkowski, he is their quarterback, having his best season. I guess you could call it a career year. Um, this He did miss one game this year. He's got uh, 3,335 yards, 25 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Um, he is not a scrambler, only three rushes this year. So he is a pocket passer. Now, they don't have their running back or their fullback. Uh, both are injured. So James Mayberry is getting his, uh, I guess, fourth start of the season. He's only got 303 yards rushing. His average is under four yards and one touchdown. And then their fullback is Jim Hunsinger, who is a rookie out of Virginia Tech. This is his first game uh, all year. Uh, not only his first start, but his first appearance. So I don't know. His rating is 58, which is um, terribly low. Uh, then we have the tight end, Junior Miller. He started starting in his 12th game this year. He's got 49 receptions, 414 yards, and a couple of touchdowns. And then we have the wide receivers, which are really great. Uh, Alfred Jenkins, 1,500 yards receiving, 15 touchdowns with 77 receptions. He's been in every ball game. And number two is Wallace Francis. Also started every game this year now uh, with 44 receptions and 598 yards, no TDs after 1,000 yards in 79 with eight TDs. So I guess he's been kind of quiet. You see there are other backups here. The other wide receiving options are all under uh, the league average of 80. You take, out, take a look here at their um, offensive line. Uh, some top-notch talent here. Uh, with Jeff Van Note, who's in the Hall of Fame. I also believe R.C. Thielman is. I can't remember. Maybe even Mike Ken is in real life. I, 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 would, I could never remember all the offensive linemen who are in um, Canton, but I know Jeff Van Note is for sure. Uh, their kicker is uh, Tim Mazzetti, 88% field goal percentage this year. Over 104 points. Pretty solid kicker. And their punter is John James, longtime Atlanta Falcon punter. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I think we have to consider protecting the pass, not the run so much, considering they're, they are um, down a couple of uh, 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 offensive players in the backfield. So let's start with a uh, Tampa 2 squeeze. It is going to be a pass to the tight end. Does, Barkowski doesn't have a lot of time. Uh, incomplete to Miller. So it's going to be second and 10. We are definitely going to go to a pass defense now. Uh, I'm not really ready to blitz. Uh, let's do the, the uh, nickel back at, uh, bracket cover two. It's going to be a sweep to the left side. Allen lays into Mayberry. No gain. So I think my strategy is already kind of playing out as uh, Jimmy Allen makes the tackle. If we um, give him the rush and take the pass away, I think we're going to be a stronger team for it. Okay, now we learned last week, because of our injuries in our secondary, that I don't think going to a dime short zone will work because we do not have a dime back at all. We can only do nickel. Um our third cornerback is Walt Williams. It doesn't say, I don't, I don't think they automatically move Walt Williams into the dimeback role. I, I don't know. But I don't think we're going to call any dime defenses. We're just going to uh, do a nickel blitz here with third and 10. Barkowski drops back in the po pocket, pass to Jenkins. He comes down with it on the 33-yard line. A 19-yard pass to Jenkins, so they convert on third down despite us 
having the right guess. I, I would imagine Jenkins would have been double covered there. Um, that did not work out in our favor. Okay, we're going to go to the balance defense here. 4 3 contained. It is going to be a pass over the middle as Jenkins gets separations. And Barkowski gets an eight yard pass to Jenkins, second and two. Okay, um, I kind of think they are going to run it here. So let's do a uh, short zone two gap. Oh, it's going to be a tight end pass. Pass to Miller, caught at the 50, and he goes out of bounds. First down Atlanta, it's only a three yard pass to the tight end, Junior Miller. Now, how did he get out of bounds with a play that would have been between the hash marks? for three yards and that I, I don't know these are the things that I that frustrate me about this game um, nothing really makes football sense um, after playing 15 games I, I have to admit I kind of enjoy this game even though it is frustrating um, cover two let's see it's a first down I think uh, we have to, yeah we're gonna do balance we'll do a, um, a stunt that'll kind of plug the middle that's gonna be a pass over the middle Caught the 44-yard line as who goes out of bounds. Caught at the 44 to Francis. Wide receiver, too. So Atlanta is moving the ball on us. Um, and that's because, I mean, we really don't have any linebackers. So um, they are definitely taking advantage of the middle of the field. Um and I'm not really sure how to prevent that. Here's another pass. Uh, that's a short uh, halfback toss to the right. Hit by, by Baker as Mayberry rushes for no gain. So, yeah, two rushes for no yards. And, um, yeah, I mean, they have to pass. So we should always be guessing, um, you know, pass defense here. Give up that run to try to uh, keep them from completing a pass. We're going to blitz him on this one. Smith can't get open. Barkowski trying to avoid Gay. And it's 11-yard pass. I mean, I have no idea. Wide receiver four makes the reception on this one. So, I mean, there's, there's nothing we're going to be able to do to stop him here. Um, even with our great secondary. That is really frustrating. Um... 4-3, cover two, another uh, short pass. Harris has trouble getting open. Caught by Francis for 26 yards. Yeah, um, so this is gonna this is gonna go very badly if our defense can't stop them. It's first and goal. We've guessed pass correctly every time, and uh, it has not helped us at all. We're gonna do a goal line stack as we try to run it up the middle. And Mayberry does get a yard as Simmons makes the tackle. Simmons, uh, despite only starting eight games this year, is second on our team in uh, tackles, I noticed earlier. Second and goal. All right, run defense. We're going to do an eight-man front. Again, try to run up the middle this time with the fullback and a touchdown. There we go. So it's 7 nothing. I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, Rod Walters is hurt, and he's going to the locker room as uh, it's a, uh, a touchback. Rod Walters is on our team. I believe he is a, um, uh, a safety that we would never normally start. He must be only on the um, special teams. Okay, let's take a look at our offense. This is pretty bad, folks. We've got Eric Hipple making his first start of the year, first start in his career, as he's technically a, a rookie out of Utah State. He has um, he did play a little bit in uh, last week's game. And uh, as you can see, it, it says he's played in every game this year. So I'm assuming that he must be like the holder. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he, his ratings are very poor. We don't have much of a shot today. Um, if we pass, I think we got to get it to uh, Freddie Scott. We're going to take a look at him momentarily. We'll take a look at Billy Sims. In the end of his rookie year, he's got uh, 1,319 yards, 10 touchdowns rushing, uh, three receiving. So 
he's had a really good rookie season, and um, I'm looking forward to what he could do for us in the future. We've got Dexter Bussey, a nice uh, solid year for him as our fullback and uh, backup running back. Good job by him this year. David Hill, coming off his All-Pro year in 1979, a little bit of a disappointment. We've never really found a good usage for him. His rating is so low for someone who was an All-Pro the previous year that doesn't feel very accurate. Um, but he hasn't had much use for us uh, this season. Then we've got wide receiver one, Freddie Scott, leading all of football in receptions and yards. He's 109 yards short of 2,000 yards this year. And who else are we going to go to with Hipple? Go to the one guy who can maybe make a play for us. So I think he's going to get 109 yards today because we are already playing from behind. Wide receiver two is Leonard Thompson. 46 receptions, 602 yards. Both career high. Um, and then uh, we'll take a look here at um, wide receiver three, Mike Freedy. Uh, 30 receptions and uh, 378 yards, a couple touchdowns. He's been good for us. Uh, you see the other two wide receivers. Both are pretty strong. I mean, I, I like our, our uh, future um, with our wide receivers. Taking a look at our offensive line, uh, Homer Elias will get a start. Uh, today for Baldschweiler, who's out for the year. We put Willie Parker back in there at center. He has a problem with penalties, but he has um, uh, given Sims the most yards per carry rushing up the middle of any of our centers that we've gone with this year. So, um, I mean, I figured we're probably going to have to run the, game and, uh, run the ball a lot this game. We may as well have our best possible offensive linemen in there that are uh, good for the run. Then we've got Eddie Murray, who's been terrible down the stretch. He's won for his last four um, with a field goal percentage under 70. And it's not like we've asked a lot of him. He's uh, two for three from 30 yards or less and four for seven from 30 to 39. So he can't even make the short yards. His overall is 81 and his peak is 81. So uh, although Eddie Murray played for Detroit for many years and at one point was the all-time leading scorer for Detroit. Um, he has not shown us much as a rookie. And uh, Tom Scaladini, great punter. And um, although he's only punted the ball 44 times because we go for it on fourth down uh, because we're behind so often, um, he's averaging 46 yards per punt. So, Okay, so there's our offense. Just quickly looking at their defense. There's nobody here that you may even know other than um, uh, Fulton Kukendall, who is um, you know, a longtime linebacker for the Falcons, and maybe Kenny Johnson, um, but I don't know any of these other guys um, just by looking at them. So I, if you do, you're a better man than I am. Okay, let's get things started here. That was a six-minute drive for the Falcons, and we're down seven, and... I mean, we could come out and go with, like, a trick play and, like, I don't know, try to make something happen, but I think we got to try to run the ball as Hipple hands it off to Sims, only a three-yard gain. You're looking at their defensive line um, pretty good. I mean, everybody's over 80 other than uh, Don Smith. So a three-yard gain, second and seven. All right, um... Let's uh, get it to Dexter Bussey here. On the right side, rushes outside, tackled at the 31. Eight-yard gain for Bussey. So first down, Detroit. Good job. All right. Um, let's go ahead and um, what are we going to do here? Let's do a weak toss to the left side. In theory, that would be, as I'm pointing to the screen, as if you can see me point toward the Don Smith side. So let's see if we can't take advantage of that guy who's below average. Gives the ball to Sims, and he fumbles it, and it's Atlanta's ball. So this game is already over. Um, as Sims fumbles it for the first time in quite a while. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do. 
So uh, we're just going to start blitzing as they're going to run it here. Pitch to Mayberry. Turns up field, seven yard gain. Third, uh, second and three on the 19 yard line. Um, yeah, uh, they're going to pass it over the middle here. Smith finds a seam. Catch by Smith. First down, seven yard gain. Uh, Barkowski is passing at will against us. Seven for eight for 84 yards. They're down to the 12. Um, they're going to sweep it to the left side. Mayberry gets four yards down to the eight. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like they're going to run it again. Oh, they are, they are going to run to the right side. There's a flag. And a full start on Mike Ken. So the first penalty of the game goes against the Falcons. That'll move them back only five yards. So it's second and 10. Uh, second and 11 on the 13. I guess they're, I mean, I would imagine they're going to pass here. So we'll, we'll blitz them. It is going to be a pass. Francis is well covered. Quick dump to Mayberry, but he can't make the play. Bartkowski incomplete to the running back, Mayberry. Third and 11, it would be great if we could hold them um, to a field goal. Uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, nickel blitz. No, let's do the cover two zone blitz. Um, that should be a double coverage on Alfred Jenkins. That's oh, gonna be a screen into the backfield, so. Down on the four. Nine yard pass, and that will be fourth down. And they settle for a field goal. It is good. 10 nothing Falcons. So, um, kick off to John Arnold, who we put back in there as a kick up returner. We did leave uh, Rick Kane in there as the punt returner, but he didn't get the job done last week. So, we're going with uh, Arnold, who at least has a kick return for a touchdown. All right, well, Billy Sims, I mean, we have to we have to try to run it here. Hippo hands the ball off to Sims, turns up field, four yard gain, brought down by Reed. Frank Reed, the cornerback. Second and six. Let's do the uh, fullback dive up the middle with Horace King. Kind of give, spread the ball around a little bit with the running backs. Runs up the middle. Smith takes down King after another three-yard gain. It's third and three. Let's try to, <coughs> pardon me, let's try to um, do this little pass play here to Horace King. Well, you know what? Because if, if this doesn't work, then we're punting. I think we have to go, I think we have to pass the ball to um, Freddie Scott. I know that it's, I mean, like, what's the point? I don't have any confidence that um, Hipple can complete a pass downfield. So we'll do this trips out play. Maybe he can connect with Scott on the sideline. Let's give it a go. Hipple drops back, open receiver, and the pass is knocked down by Roland Lawrence. Punting the ball. <clears throat> a 57-yard punt. Returned 10 yards by Reggie Smith. Mm -hmm. All right. Good punt by Sladaney. First and 10 on the Falcons. 26-yard line. Um, you know, it looks like we're going to end up with the first pick. I don't know who's in this draft for 81. We, we looked it up um, on uh, Pro Football Reference as um, we'll try to do a, a, a balanced defense here. Hand off to Mayberry. Seven-yard gain. Um, and there was no good quarterbacks in this draft other than Neil Lomax. And I don't think Neil Lomax is a guy that I necessarily want. So do we go with another year of um, as a tight end pass here, right through his hands? Do we go with another year of um, Gary Danielson? 
I don't know. I guess it depends on who's the free you know, on the free agent market. It's third and three. I'm assuming they're going to pass it here. Let's do a sideline prevent. That's going to be a run. Yeah, 11 yard gain. Oh, this is brutal. I already want this game to be over. Um, I mean, there's no way we're going to win this ball game. I, I don't know how the the game decided it was going to be a pick 'em. Um, because there's nothing we're going to be able to do to stop them or score. I mean, we call the right play, and it's a 12-yard rush for a guy who's got a below league average um, rating. I don't know. Another run. Two-yard gain, end of the first quarter. This game's going by quickly. I guess it does when you really don't have any other options other than to press a button. Yeah, 25-yard pass to Jenkins, even though I called the defensive, you know, pass defense. Um, I don't know. Here's a run. We called the run defense. No gain by Mayberry as Mendenhall makes the tackle. Ray Oldham has six tackles already. That's something that you don't want to see from your strong safety. Second and ten. And we're blitzing. It's going to be a pass over the middle. Bobbled and dropped. Nine for 13 by Bartkowski for 118 yards. We do not have any yards passing yet. Um, third and ten. We got to call a pass defense. Plays blown dead as there's offensive offsides. Five yards. How is offsides only a five yard penalty? Was it that way in the past? As I thought. Oh, I'm thinking of offensive holding. Okay, third and fifteen. Um. All right, we're going to blitz them. We're going to blitz the shit out of them. Everybody's coming for them now. Caught by Miller. And a touchdown. All right. 36-yard return. So, yeah, the game is going to give us one here, it looks like, um, since we're starting the ball so close. I mean, we got to start passing it, even if it's just short passes. Pass to Scott, 14-yard pass. And we were trying to get it to um, Horace King out of the backfield. So there we go. Now we're, we're moving the ball. This is, unfortunately, this is the way this game works. Um, and also the baseball version. Uh, yeah, they just give it to you because, you know, like they have to keep the point totals correct. It's incomplete to Thompson. Um, let's go to Freddie Scott here on second and 10. Can't pull it in. Third and 10. Pass to Scott. Picked off, intercepted. And it's first and 10 on the Falcons 21 for the Falcons. So two turnovers early. And this game is painful. Um, but there's really not much we can do. Uh, Two-yard gain by Mayberry. Here's a pass play. 25-yard pass. Incomplete to Miller. Second and 10. Um, we're going to do a nickel defense. Incomplete. It is now third and 10. Try the same defense. It seems to be the only thing that's working is the nickel defense where we don't blitz. And incomplete. So maybe that's the only play we call from now on as they punt it for the first time today. And went into the end zone? 
Oh my God, I didn't see how far, I didn't even notice how far that punt was, but that's ridiculous. All right, so Hipple's one for five, thrown an interception. I mean, well, the game automatically pulls up the trick plays. I mean, why not? Let's do a trick play. Let's do an end around. Hand the ball off to Scott for a five-yard gain. Give him a rushing chance. That's, is that our biggest gain today? I guess we had that 14-yard pass to Scott. Second and five. Halfback toss to Billy. In a game where we don't have a quarterback, um, the fact that our that Billy Sibbs has already turned the ball over um, and given us a 17-point deficit deficit is um, it's very disheartening. We do get a first down there. Let's um, try that pass to Billy right here. Drops back to pass. Bollinger stops the bull rush. Catch by. Sims, and it's only a five-yard gain, pushed out by Pennywell, Robert Pennywell. Second and five, we are making small headway here. Let's try the bootleg um, option play. Hipple is a better runner than Gary Danielson, and maybe if we get him outside the hash marks, maybe that'll be better for him. Hipple moves out of the packet, intercepted. Oh, but he drops it. And a holding by Dietrich. I never thought I'd be happy to get a holding penalty. Oh, this is brutal, guys. This is brutal. Let's try to get it to Freddie. Oh, he makes the catch. It goes out of bounds. 16-yard gain. So that will move us along. Second and 15. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. It's first and 10 on the 41. Um, all right. Hipple, three for seven, 35 yards now. Let's give the ball to Billy. And Freddie Scott's hurt. And he's done. So that that's it. I mean, we've we fumbled through an interception, and our best player is out of the game now. So... Um, yeah, we were never going to win this ball game. That happens a lot. We say that a lot uh, between the baseball and the football. The games are over before you even get a chance to really play it out. Let's see if we can't um, get the ball to David Hill, maybe, over the middle. Looks downfield, pass to Hill. He has it. And a first down Detroit. So David Hill stepping up. All right. I mean, we cannot throw it to any of our wide receivers. We have nobody. Um, and, you know, the, pl the thing that really annoys me here, too, is they move all the wide receivers up a spot. So in the past plays where I would have used a Freedy, now it's Jesse Thompson. And that doesn't make sense. So if we've chosen a pass play for Freedy, it really should be Jesse Thompson taking Freddie Scott's spot. But, I mean, I'm, why am I looking for logic? I, I don't know. All right. Um, let's do a blast for Billy. Two-yard gain. Okay. Well, now we have this uh, slant, which will technically go to Freedy. This would have been Leonard Thompson's play. <clears throat> Hipple drops back. Fires it to Freedy. He's got it. That's good for a first down, an eight-yard pass. He gets just enough. I think the game is feeling sorry for us now um, as it's, they're starting to give us first downs and pass plays. Wow. And then Billy Sims just ran it 36 yards. Um, and why? They blitzed. Okay. So that's good. So we called a run on a blitz. And I guess I could see how that would be a big gain. How could it be a 36-yard run? Because the game determined that we needed to score. You know, that's the only way. So it's 17 to seven with three minutes to go until halftime, and we do get the ball at the half. So 
I mean, in a sense, I almost feel like we should onside kick it here, right? Um, because if we can and, and score, we get the ball at halftime. Um, <clears throat> what do you think? It's a, it's a final game of the year. I say we do a surprise onside, and why not? We don't have our wide receiver. We don't have our quarterback. Why not? Here we go. We're going to do a surprise onside. I haven't done this all year. Let's go. Murray kicks off. Arnold recovers it for the Lions. <laughs> oh, no. It was a surprise. It's a surprise to me. And now we've got the ball on the Falcons 48. I got a bunch of alcohol for uh, Christmas today. So um, some of them are these little uh, airline shots. So we're... We're testing them out. This is some Jim Beam Black. Mm. That's good stuff. I also got coffee. All right. Let's, um, ooh. Um, let's, uh, let's go over the middle to David Hill. First and 10, Hipple drops back. Hill gets his hands on it. A five yard pass to Hill. Is this the game for Hill? How exciting is that if that happens? Um, all right. Let's try. Now, this was a, a play that I designed. It was I didn't change the name, but it was an end around originally that went the opposite direction. But I changed it to this little waggle here. Not a waggle. That's a waggle. That's like a, a hook and go, I guess. So let's see how that works. This would be the letter Thompson. Who has not made a play yet. Looking to pass. He jumps it. Uh, and they pick it off. And they score a touchdown. No. Well. So, I mean. There was nothing. <laughs> there was nothing we could do. Oh, man. What a waste. Um, two minute warning. We guessed run. They're going to do a shotgun under and a touchdown. So that was that was horrible. That that was as bad as it could have been. It's 24 to 7. And I, I mean I don't know what to do now. Like I thought for a minute the game was giving us our shot. Maybe they maybe that was our shot. Um, I think, I mean, I don't know how that play was picked off. It was just over the middle. Who made the interception? The free safety? I don't know. All right. Hill makes a catch. A four-yard gain. How is that a four-yard gain? I don't know. All right. Time's, uh, clock's ticking here. It'd be nice to get three on the board just for posterity. <clears throat> um, let's do this out play to Freedy. Freedy makes the catch. Another four-yard gain. We're doing it four yards at a time. It is now third and two. Let's try this deep. Go deep this time. It's third and two. Um, shoot. It's not four down territory. Um, what about the spread out to Jesse Thompson? When was the last time we intentionally threw the ball to Jesse Thompson? Maybe it's time for the backups to stop up, uh, step up. Pass is no good. It didn't happen. Well, the game's over. We may as well we may as well go for it here, right? Um. Let's give it to Billy up the middle. Fourth and two. He's got to be able to get two. He just got 36, for crying out loud. Fourth and two. Step the ball. Goes up the middle. Runs with it. Tackled. And he's... No gain. Wow. Pass over the middle. Out of bounds at the 11 after 17 yard gain. It's 
four yard pass to Mayberry. Second and six on the seven. Touchdown. Mike Smith is injured. Wide receiver four. Look at how they're spreading the ball around. They are absolutely crushing us. We have one of the best secondaries in all of football. It's 31 to 7, and we're not even at halftime yet. <clears throat> I mean, what do we do? We just, should we run the clock out? We're already embarrassed ourselves. Lions show run. 20-yard pass to Thompson, Leonard Thompson. I mean, Hipple's 9 for 15, but he's thrown it to them twice. Can't really do that. And then the, you know, the Billy Sims fumble. It's pretty bad. Um, they're blitzing, and yeah, this is good. This is a six-yard gain. That should be deep. They're blitzing, and we're doing a quick go. <coughs> now we got to get it downfield. Hipple shows run, lets it fly, caught. 22 yard pass, 10 seconds to go. This would be a 49 yard field goal. Um, uh, I mean, do we, do we have time for one more play? Um, we'll just go for a field goal. At this point, putting some points on the board, we're gonna get the ball right back. So, uh, field goal right here. 49-yard field goal. Murray's longest is 51 on the year. I don't feel very good about this. It's good, though. 49-yard field goal, and it's 31-10. to 10. Um, We'll do a squibber, and we'll get the ball right back. That's the last play of the first half. Wow. Uh, could it have been any worse? Um, I mean... We have more rushing yards. Our yards per rush is more. Our completion percentage is actually not that bad. Eight first downs, but the three turnovers. One for three on third down. We missed the fourth down. Um, I mean, yeah, it's gone about as bad as it could go as Arnold gets an 18-yard return to our 26-yard line. Okay, guys. Um, last half of the season <clears throat> I think we got to try running it here Sims takes the handoff gets three yards as Pennywell makes the tackle second and seven let's try to hit uh, Leonard Thompson here on the dig yeah dig clean snap to Hipple good coverage forced out of the pocket and a sack for seven-yard loss. How do we not get sacks? But they get sacks. Third and 14. <clears throat> wow, we've already blown it. We already, <laughs> what's the point of getting the ball at halftime? We've already blown it. Let's go to that weird trick play that I designed, this rollout, uh, which is now goes to Leonard Thompson. This was originally a Freddie Scott play. Snap the hippo, leaves the pocket. He has trouble getting open, he unloads, incomplete, and just like that, we punt it. Three and out. Now I wish I had more alcohol in my room. Hmm. Good punt by Skladani. 64 yards. And they're going to start on their own 22. Um, I mean, they're up 21 points. They're up three scores. You think they got to come out run? Yeah, okay, they run up the middle. Good call by us. Ball is loose, but the Falcons get it back, because of course, why not? Why wouldn't they? Second and four. Tampa two, short yardage. Runs it inside, and they get the four yards they need. Even though we called the right play. Look at that. We, we stuffed it. And they still get it. Ooh. 
Ray Oldham has eight tackles. First and ten. Here's a stunt. Oh, it's a pass. This is bad. Oh, incomplete to Francis. Second and ten. All right. Um, I'm thinking pass defense. I mean, we, we blitz all the time. We have Bubba Baker. He's got six sacks, and yet he's not getting any penetration. Oh, it's a run. This is going to be bad. Oh, it's only a three-yard gain. We blitz, and they get three yards. I mean, but that's kind of what should happen when you've got a backup running back in there. He made 16 starts in 1979 for only 193 yards, so he's underutilized. And yet, he's as good as a starter. Third and seven. Yeah, we got to go past defense. Um, I mean, there's no point in blitzing. We're going to do the nickel bracket. This has seemed to have worked so far. Oh, it's a toss to Mayberry. Only gets four yards. Are they giving us a break? Is the AI giving us a break? Fair caught on the 50-yard punt from John James. Oh, come on. So it's first and 10 at the 11. <laughs> I mean... What are we going to do? We got nothing. Let's give it to Ho Grant. I mean, Ho King. There we go. Three-yard gain. Horace Grant. I'm thinking of the Bulls. Um, okay. Let's try um, this pass play here in the flat. We can't really look downfield. We had no success. You know, he's, looking, he's looking downfield. I don't know. Hipple, 11 for 19. Let's try to get it to Freedy here. Oh, Freedy's got two catches already. That's right. He's the, he's the master of the four-yard catch. Freedy's well covered. Pass to Thompson. Reed makes the tackle. Give him a first down as Thompson makes his third catch of the day. He's got 57 yards. It's sad that Freddie Scott will not get 2,000 yards on the season. Uh, I imagine he'll still lead the NFL. It's first and 10. Let's do this strong toss to Billy. Solid hit by Kukendall. He gets a couple extra yards out of it, though. Seven-yard gain. Good job by Billy Sims. Billy's got 60 total yards in that 36-yard touchdown run. Second and three. Let's get that sweep to Dexter Bussey. Here we go. Dexter Bussey's got two rushes for nine yards. Run it outside. Bussey gets only two. Well, we're in four-yard territory here, uh, four-down territory with, with it being third and one. Let's give it to Billy up the gut, and then we'll give it to him again. Find some room. That's good. New set of downs. A 13-yard gain as they were blitzing. Why would they be blitzing on third and one? That's stupid. It's dumb. Um, okay. Well, we're, we are getting somewhere with the run. Let's try to get it to Bussy here on the right side. Pushed out of bounds after a five-yard gain. Um, maybe we can have some respectability here. If we can score a touchdown. Um, here's Billy. Halfback trap. Hands it off to Sims. Solid hit by Johnson. Only a two-yard gain for Sims. It's third and three. And yes, we are once again in four-down territory here. Let's give it to Ho King up the middle. Hand off to King. King stays on his feet. Gets the first down after an eight-yard gain. We are down to the 34-yard line. 
Um, have you guys ever heard of the run? We're going to do it. Hipple gives it to Sims. Takes run left side. Three-yard gain. Sims is the master of the three-yard rush. The game thinks that Billy Sims, his 40-yard dash is 5.20. It probably should be 4.20. Um, but that's actually slower than Eric Hipple. So clearly, that is another problem with the game. When we go to play the 1981 season, I will have purchased the newest version of Football Mogul. So we'll have that to look forward to. Hopefully there'll be better uh, AI. Wow, Sims gets another two-yard rush. <clears throat> Third and five. Four-yard, uh, four-down territory for us. Let's give it to Billy up the middle. They're probably going to blitz. No, two-gap cover. It's a good call by them. Run it up the middle. Hit by Yates. Uh, two-yard, another two-yard gain. Fourth and three. Man, I don't know what to do here. Three points doesn't do us any good. We have to go for it. <clears throat> Should we just like throw it to the end zone? <laughs> like maybe, maybe catch him off guard by going deep? Oh, why not? We've got nothing to lose. Um, let's try to go with this deep pattern to Thompson. If not Thompson, then maybe somebody else will catch it here. Here we go. Fourth and three. Are they going to blitz? No, cover two bracket. I like this. Oh, he can't hold on. The Lions will get control of the ball. Wait, what? What? Yeah, they, they, the game just doesn't understand what just happened, but we do. We had to try. It's raining outside because we're in the dome. Um, what? I don't know. Well, we need a turnover here. Um, all right. Do a corner blitz. Oh, that's a good call. Pass to Jenkins, and he catches it. 14 yards. Um, yeah, even when we guess right, it doesn't help us. Well, we guessed right again. Turns up field. Grabbed by Cobb. Brought down by Cobb. Three-yard gain. We haven't heard a lot from our linebackers today. Simmons and Cobb both are horrific defensive players. We're guessing run. And false start on Howell. Wait, was there an injury that we missed? Because Lawrence Harris is in there. Pat Howell. Yeah, he's the worst player. It's second and 12. Damn it. We got a blitz. Our <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter, but we got to blitz him here. That's a, it's a trap. It's a trap! Four yard. I kind of look like Admiral Akbar when I'm not wearing a hat. It's third and eight on the 43 as we're getting ready to close out the third quarter. Nickel bracket. This, is, this has been working. It is a pass play. Atlanta line holds, makes the catch. And that's the end. Okay, we're down to our final 15 minutes of the season. It can't come any quicker. I wish there was something more I could do to make this over. I really want to know what happens next. And we do have a jersey to give away. That's the best thing about it. So, um, it will. there will be a, a, a winner today. As we do a goal line sweep. Why are they running a goal line at the 50-yard line? No gain. Second and ten. 
Um, we'll do the Tampa 2. That's a good call. Markowski throws, and it's 11 yard pass to Smith. I mean, these are guys, the people that are catching the ball, I mean, a 74 rating. How is that possible? I mean, we have such great defensive backs. Oldham's got 10 tackles here. Pretty solid. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, they're as good as scored right now. And they're going to run it. We call the run. Hit by Mendenhall. No gain. I feel like we're doing the right thing. I, I mean, we were calling the right plays for the most part. It's just not going the way we sh want it to go. Um, cover two bracket. Oh, they're going to run. And Baker's offsides. I don't feel like he's had too many penalties this year. I don't think, yeah, it doesn't even show. Yeah, but we're going to give him that first down. Second and five. Um, do the old weak side dog. This is encroach. Okay. Yeah. I told you we we're going to give it to him. And it's Cobb. Encroachment by the linebacker. That makes no sense. But it's the third time it's happened this year. So... Um, Mayberry gets the ball. And he fumbles it, and we recover. There we go. Hunter with the fumble recovery. Um, who knocked it out? No, it doesn't say. Well, okay. 31 to 10, 11 minutes to go. It's time we start passing the ball. Um, we, we, we tried everything else. Let's see if we got some wacky things we haven't done much of. Um, I like I've always liked this curl play. Uh, let's see if we can't get Jesse Thompson a catch. He's in trouble. Great catch by Thompson. First down, 10 yard gain. And we get Jesse Thompson in there. Good job by Thompson. All right. Um, let's see if we can't get Billy on the slant here. Pass to Sims. Nobody can catch it. All right. Um, let's try to go deep. Here we go. Thompson's well covered. Good protection. And the Lions have a first down as Hipple passes it to Arnold. John Arnold with his first catch of the season in there because of injury. Nicely done. He does have a touchdown. It was on a kick return. Wow, that was kind of exciting. All right, let's get it to David Hill here. Another four-yard pass to Hill. Hill's got some space. Gets his hands on it. Six yards. All right. Second and four. All right, um, let's try this trap play as they blitz. Good call by us. First down as Billy gets five. All right, Billy Sims, 87 total yards today. First and 10. Um, let's try the old bootleg again. That did work last time. Hipple moves out of the pocket. Freddy has trouble getting open. Hipple throws. And it's knocked down by Reed. Look at how everybody is getting into the game defensively for Atlanta. Okay, second and 10. This is the play we'd normally go to Scott. Nobody gets it as he's trying to throw it to Arnold. Okay, let's, that's overconfidence there. Although Arnold is a 75 and their third wide receivers of 78 and he's like making every play third and 10 
Um, we need a play to work. Let's try this uh, corner route. Lions are in the shotgun. They sacked for a five yard loss. We can't even go for a field goal here. It's fourth and 15. <laughs> my God. Oh my God, this game hates us so much. We need 15 yards. <sighs> All right, let's try this rollout. It's fourth and 15. We can't punt it. It's just going to be a touchback anyway. So the worst thing that's happening here is we turn the ball over uh, on downs. We already done it twice. Here we go. Hippo drops back. He's got move over past the front. It's caught. Uh, 25 yards. Oh, it's a 16-yard pass. <laughs> so it's just enough. Of course, it's always just enough. We'll take it, though. As uh, Leonard Thompson, four receptions, 73 yards. I don't think he had a 100-yard game this year, but he certainly has a chance at it now. Okay, first and 10 to 25. Let's run the ball here. Pitching it to Sims, out of bounds after a four-yard gain. 91 total yards for Billy Boy. All right. Let's give Billy with a sweep here. And only a one yard gain. Third and five. Oh man, let's try this streak pattern to David Hill. Let's get it right in the end zone here. 35 from the 20. If not, we'll just go for a field goal. Here we go. Drops back. Hill can't get open. Smith has an opening. Uh, Sims does. And he's got plenty of room to run. Hipple, a 19-yard pass to Billy. And uh, that's exciting. There we go. And it's down to the one-yard line. I guess we give that to Billy. Um, try to get him in the end zone here. If Billy can't make it on the blast, then we'll give it to uh, Horace King. Here we go. First and goal. S goes up the middle, hit hard, but he's in for the score. And it's 31 to 17. Good job, Billy. He's got two touchdowns today, two rushing touchdowns. And, um, well, we're down two touchdowns. We're going to do the old normal kickoff here. Oldham takes down Smith. Why is Oldham out there on the kick return? T, uh, the kickoff team. Oldham. He's got 11 tackles today. <laughs> Nobody else is doing anything. Okay, here we go. It would be nice to stop him here. I mean, I would think they're going to try to run the clock out, right? I mean, why wouldn't they? It's a screenplay. Offsides on Ken. Second time today for that. Four penalties for the Falcons. 20 yards. All right. First and 15. Uh, let's do the cover two bracket. And it's passed over the middle. I like our odds here. Incomplete to Jenkins. And now it's going to be second and 15. We're going to guess pass defense. We'll do the nickel cover. It is a pass. Jenkins is well covered. Pocket holds, though. Pass to Miller. Miller dives. Can't hold it. It's third and 15. And um, now I want to blitz, but that does not work for us. So let's do... Let's go into um, the sideline prevent and try to at least keep it under 15 yards uh, they're going to go deep with it it's off target incomplete to Harris we're getting the ball back with six minutes to go here's the punt to Kane a six yard return okay we've got the ball at our own 34 yard line and it's time to start slinging it around folks let's try to get to Jesse Thompson 
on the sideline. Out of bounds, midfield, 14-yard pass to Jesse. At the 48. Okay, let's do David Hill over the middle. Lions in the shotgun. Good coverage on Hill. Sees an open receiver, and it's batted down by Pridebore. Second and 10. Um, let's do a draw play. I think they're going to try to blitz us here. I would. Let's um, So let's do a draw. Let Blig take it right up the gut. Now that's a 4 3 bracket. It's a good call. Up the middle, wrapped up. Oh, only a one yard game. Yeah, I blew it. 39. Gosh, this is such an important play here. We're going to spread the receivers out. And we got to go to Leonard Thompson on this uh, corner route. If he's covered, maybe we get it to somebody else. Let's see. 39. Here we go. Hipple has the ball. Hipple to Thompson. Caught by Thompson. And a 15-yard first down. Eric Hipple, 19 for 32, 230 yards. That alone is pretty good. But you look at those interceptions, and you know that um, we're not in, uh, the score is not in our favor. Okay. Um, let's, let's go downfield here. Thompson trouble getting open. Hippo unloads. Incomplete pass to Ray Ray Williams. Second and 10. That would have been a nice surprise. Hippo looking downfield. Thompson's well covered. Hippo to Thompson. Caught. Is it which Thompson is it? Was it Leonard? Okay. All right. Third and three. We're in four down territory because, well, I mean, we need two touchdowns. Um, third and three. Let's bootleg it. Leave in the pocket. Freedies well covered. Oh, can't hold on to King. Fourth and three. <coughs> um. Oh, man. We're going to David Hill. This is the season, David Hill, right here. Comes down to this. Here we go. Hipple takes a step, drops back. Hill's got space. Gets his hand on it. Solid Hill. Uh, nine yard past the Hill. There we go. First and 10. We got to take a shot at the end zone now. <clears throat> and then onside kick it. So let's. Um, we're on the 20. Oh, man. I don't like any of these plays. Let's try a run. Hand off to Sims, brought down by McLean. Hold on. A flag on the play, unnecessary roughness on our offensive line. So that's that's the ball game. That that was it right there. We had our shot, and the game would not give it to us. Thompson's double covered. Caught by Williams. What? Ten yard pass to Ray Ray. Ray Ray getting in there. Second and 15. All right. Let's see if we can't get to Billy in the flat. Pass to Sims. Picks it off. Oh, but he can't hold on. Come on, man. Third and 15. Let's go to Leonard Thompson downfield. Good protection. Thompson in the clear. Out of bounds after a 10-yard gain. It's fourth and five. <clears throat> we have to go for it here. Um, and we're going to go right to the end zone. Where is it? Right here. Here we go. Spread corner. This is the ball game right here. Hipple hikes it. Pass. Caught by Thompson for a touchdown. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. Extra point is good. And we've got to go for the onside kick. Now, we've only already got one. And the game clearly has given us 14 points here in the fourth quarter. So, it's not like Eric Hipple just all of a sudden became a, the best quarterback in the league. The game is it's that Do, uh, John Madden thing where no matter how many points you're up, the defense is always going to, you know, the other team's going to come back and make it close.
Mm. So, it is a one-score game. And we're going to onside kick it. Here we go. This is the ball game right here. Kick by Murray, and the Falcons recover. Right on their own 50 there. Or actually on our 48-yard line. Now, I'm assuming they're going to run it, right? No, they're passing it over the middle. Yeah, a 19-yard pass to Miller. All right. Screenplay. Mayberry makes the catch. Yeah, now they're unstoppable. So, uh, game over. All right, well, at least we'll get one more shot at it here. Um, I mean, Leonard Thompson had a good game today. Um, Billy Sims. Um, let's, um, let's give it to Billy here. Two-minute warning. Hand off to Sims, runs right. Six-yard gain for Billy. Where's Billy at on yards? 1,414 yards. He's over four per carry. I guess it helps when you have a 36-yard run. Try to get David Hill a couple more catches. He's got five catches. This is his best uh, game so far. As a 21-yard pass to Thompson. Uh, Leonard Thompson. All right. Um, well, Eric Hipple's got 290 yards. He's on the verge of having a 300-yard passing game. I mean, this, uh, this, this final line is going to be right up there with Gary Danielson. I mean, a touchdown and two interceptions, that's exactly what Gary Danielson would do. Hipple under pressure, pass to Hill. It's no good. Second and 10. Let's see if we can't get another pass to Freedy. He deserves another shot. Great catch by Freedy. Oh, seven-yard gain. I kind of like those quick slants. Um, they don't always work out. But, um, all right. Let's do this uh, cross pattern to David Hill. Looking for a target. Hill can't get open. Knocked down. Fourth and three. We got to go for it. Um, all right. Here we go. David Hill. We live and die by David Hill. Trouble getting up fast up. No, we can get through it. It's their ball. We've lost. This has been a uh, Dan Campbell game. We've gone for it on fourth down so many times. And uh, that'll end the ball game for us here. We may as well blitz the shit out of them here. Three yard gain. Uh. Nickel Blitz. Hands to Anderson. Oh, this is like the backup. We got to bring the backups in now. Third and six. Blitz the hell out of him. Turns up field. Wrapped up by Detroit. Can't bring him down. Big play. 12 yard gain. Another Blitz. Jimmy Allen's injured. Oh, no. Oh, man. Hope we don't lose Jimmy Allen for the season. I mean, uh, for next season. We've got nobody to play any position anymore. Do we have... We don't even have a defense. Uh, well. Ten-yard gain. I called the right play. Come on. And that's the ball game. All right. So um, we've got some things to look at here. I think the game is still kind of thinking. Wrapping up week 16. Okay, let's go here. All right. Oh, he missed f yeah, four weeks. So he's, he's done for the year, which is fine. All right. So week 16. 
Uh, where are we, are we at here? We lose 38 to 24. Our defense needs a lot of work. Um, not a horrible game for Eric Hipple. We were forced into, I mean, the three turnovers, that was what did it for us. Um, having to go for it on fourth down. Losing Freddie Scott, uh, that hurt. Um, wide receivers came through. Um, Eddie Murray made a field goal. Ray Oldham had 12 tackles. <laughs> Player of the game is uh, Steve Bartkowski, it says. Um, all right, so we got a lot to do here. As it looks like we're in the wild card round. So let's look at the calendar. Okay, first and foremost, we need to crown the champion of the Billy Sims autograph jersey here, number 20. I think we need to do that first, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do after that. All right, folks. So um, the Pick'em, if you picked Atlanta, then you were the winner today in the Pick'em. Um, the over-under was 36. We went way over on that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a winner. We had a winner before the game even started. And that winner is going to be Don T. Uh, Don T and Sean both picked Atlanta. And Don had the uh, lead in wins. Um, now, uh, Sean did pick the over as well. But um, with the advantage to... Uh, Don, uh, with the with the the nod there last week, uh, Don T is the winner of the Billy Sims autographed jersey. Congratulations to Don! Thank you so much for playing, uh, John and Sean. Um, it's been a lot of fun this year. I really enjoy this, Don. Uh, if you get a chance, um, please uh, email me the um, your address. I will get that out to you. Uh, maybe as early as tomorrow, if you get that to me quickly. Um, so congratulations to Don. There's a lot of fun. Um, I really <laughs> enjoyed it. Uh, I, I really did have fun playing this game despite going 4 and 12. Let's take a look at the standings here of the NFC. Um, wow. Well, that's good. Washington and San Francisco won. So we did get the outright first overall pick. Um, so that's the good news there. Looking at the um, the AFC, San Diego had the most wins, so they're going to have the first round bye. Let's go ahead and take a look at the playoffs here. There it is. It's the Patriots and the Bills in the wild card uh, in the AFC. Cowboys and Packers in the NFC. Chargers and Eagles both get the first round bye. Um, uh, Steelers and Dolphins will play. And the Bears and the Rams will play. So now the question is how... Well, let's take a look at the draft real quick. Uh, yeah, so we get the first overall pick. Um, wow, that's going to be a lot of responsibility. Do we take, uh, do we take LT? Do we take uh, Ronnie Lott? I mean, I guess we could take um, Neil Lomax. I, I don't know who's... Uh, does it show who the, uh, the picks are yet? Oh, they do. They have the draft, the players right here for the draft. I guess we'll take a look. Why not? Um, oh, it is Neil Lomax. Okay. So let's just take a look at um, peak ratings. There we go. Oh, it's Wade Wilson. Yeah, we, we forgot about Wade Wilson. Um, Chris Collinsworth. Defensively, there's Ronnie Lott. So he is available. Um. Wow. Everson Walls, he's great. Hall of Famer. So there's no Leonard Tom uh not Leonard Thompson. Um Lawrence Taylor. How is Lawrence Taylor done? Ricky Jackson's there. Dexter Manley. Wow, I don't see LT. Do you? I can't I don't see him here. Wow. Well, if I had to make my choice right now and I don't, I guess I'd probably go with Ronnie Lott. Although our our cornerbacks are pretty good. I guess we could, you know, um, Neil Lomax. I, I don't know. All right. <coughs> um, let, let's, uh, let's do alphabetically and see if Taylor's on here. He is. He's right there. 
With an 81? That can't be right. That can't be right. What's a CSS? I don't know what that means. Hmm. That is... Um, I'll look into it more. We'll have a whole special for this coming up. Uh, I don't know how he's not the number one overall pick, but he might be for me, despite not having the ratings that we would normally think of a first pick. Uh, and who knows? Maybe he'll be there in the second round. Uh, that might be possible. Maybe we get Ronnie Lott and Lawrence Taylor. That'd be sweet. Okay, so what does it say here when we hit play? Play one week. So is it not possible to actually play the game? Like computer versus computer? I guess what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and close this week out. And I'll stop the video. I'll look into it a little bit more. It might be fun to have computer play the computer and just watch. Uh, I think I would like to know. Uh, maybe you would like to know as well. Um, so maybe we'll do that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and end this video. We're going to do a separate video where there'll be a draft. We'll look at the leaders. Maybe we'll play some more games here. Um, so uh, having said all that, thank you so much for watching. Congratulations once again to Don T. Please uh, email me your... Uh, address. We'll get that out as soon as possible. And that will conclude the, my 1980 Detroit Lions alternate history season as we go 4-12. and And we didn't even get a sniff at the playoffs. We were the worst team in football. Um, but maybe we can make up some ground with the draft. So uh, until next time, everyone have a great day.